Hello world, from us at Radically New Life. So far in the Kingdom of God series, we've discussed what Jesus taught about the Kingdom of God, salvation, citizenship, war, economics, and social equality. In the seventh video of the series, we'll talk about how God's Kingdom can solve the current environmental crisis by defeating selfish greed with selfless love. So let's get started. It's likely you have heard at least once in your life that there is a great environmental crisis going on all around the world, which scientists are now calling climate change. Whether or not you believe that human activities are to blame, you have probably experienced these drastic changes firsthand, no matter where you live. In the U.S. alone, there is drought on the West Coast, major storms on the East Coast, and earthquakes in the Midwest, where they were almost unheard of previously. More generally than these environmental issues in the U.S., the entire globe is experiencing a mass extinction of life, and the average global temperature is approaching a 2 degree Fahrenheit increase which poses dire consequences to life as we know it. So the question that begs to be answered is, what are we going to do about this? No matter what you believe about the influence of mankind on the environment, it is becoming more and more clear that the daily actions of nearly 7.5 billion people can make a difference. Whether this difference is positive or negative is up to each individual. It is helpful in finding a solution to look at what brought us to this mess. We firmly believe that the problem is greed because the love of money is the root of all evil. Just think about it. Industries like oil and arms production, both of which inflict mass destruction of the environment and all life, are wildly profitable. And this seems to be the reason why people financially benefiting from these industries are so resistant to positive change for the general good of the earth and our occupants. So if greed is a problem, then the opposite of greed, selflessness expressed through love, must be the solution. Jesus' teaching to love your neighbor as yourself is the key, then, to solving environmental ills. People don't often think of the full implications of this popular teaching of Christ, but if we open our minds to consider that even animals, plants, and everything else in our planetary ecosystem is a neighbor also deserving of the same love and respect we give to ourselves, then the world would be a better place, and we likely wouldn't be in the environmental predicaments we are in today. Again, it does not matter which political party line you defend on the topic of so-called climate change. What does matter is what you choose to do about the very real environmental crisis that you yourself can see no matter where you live, and it will inevitably affect your own children and grandchildren. I encourage you to mindfully consider Jesus' golden rule and how you can practically apply it to your own life, keeping in mind all your neighbors, which includes even the plants and animals in your backyard and across the globe. Do to others as you would have them do to you, Christ says. Not only does your eternal soul depend on listening to and obeying the Son of God, but so does the fate of your children, your children's children, and the state of the world. If you begin to treat our planet with all its inhabitants as a neighbor instead of a stranger, wouldn't the world be a better place? Love, also known as God, has always been and will always be the answer. Thank you for watching the Seventh Kingdom of God video. If you have any thoughts you would like to share with us, please email us at the address listed in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe and check out our other videos. See you next time.